Stubbs amendment does sound like a very, very wonderful, heartfelt, compassionate thing. Uh, but we all saw pictures on the first day of the Dubs Amendment of uh, child refugees, so-called child refugees, coming into the country. And they were clearly not children, and they were clearly not refugees. Oh. Some of them were in their 20s and 30s and have been brought into the country. And we've heard of cases where there, uh, a person was put into a foster family, said they were 12 years old, and they turned to, out to be a lot older, well, turned out to be... Uh, evidence. Um, it was evidence. a report. It was a report, and he's lying. And he's that lying. will do. That will do. Just because you don't agree with someone doesn't mean that they're lying. In this in this chamber, we listen to every opinion. We don't have to agree with it. Thank you. So there were reports that this has happened, and then someone who was a, a child of the family was put at risk. I've also seen a report. Uh, that one of the children, so-called children, that came over, who was clearly older, uh, was then arrested uh, in Dorset uh, quite recently uh, in, in, a, in a police um, sting. So there are issues with some of the people who have come over who have claimed to be child refugees who clearly aren't. Now, I don't often agree with David Cameron, but what he did was the right thing in saying that we should focus our efforts on child refugees and other refugees in bringing people from the refugee camps in Turkey and Jordan and Lebanon. And also to put money into those camps because we can help 10 to 12 people for in those situations for every one person that comes into the United Kingdom. Now there are 70,000 children in care who are categorised as children who are looked after children in this country. Where do the people go if they come in as child refugees? Do they go to the front of the queue ahead of British children who need that care and are waiting in a long queue to get foster families or adopted families? Or do they go to the back of the queue uh, in an institution in a home? This whole situation with bringing people from Calais, from countries which are safe, safe countries in the European Union who should be looking after the child, child refugees who are genuine child refugees in those countries like France. We need to make sure that those countries live up to their responsibility so we can continue to uh, help people in the refugee camps in Jordan etc and for people who are genuine refugees for whom this is the first safe country they come to then we can help under the United Nations Convention for Refugees, which is our international duty.